this problem is the second problem in this uh, uh, group of problems of uh, recent years. It's uh, based on the transient response of transmission line, which is terminated uh, by a resistive load. The unknown load uh, resistance is to be determined. For this uh, analysis, uh, the most convenient method is the bounce diagram uh, to solve these problems. Uh, you can uh, refer it uh, to uh, Google search and uh, uh, you would find uh, there are some uh, PDF uh, or PPTs uh, available on the uh, web where you can uh, refer this. So uh, now we'll start this with this problem. This is of uh, gate 2015. Problem is of two marks on transmission lines. First we read out the problem here. Uh, this says uh, a 200 meter long transmission line having parameters shown in the figure is terminated into RL. The line is connected to 400 volt source having a source resistance RS through a switch which is closed at T equals to zero. The transient response of the circuit at the input of the line that is that is zero is also drawn in the figure. The value of RL in ohms is to be determined. Okay, so if we see this problem, what we find there is a transmission line uh, having a length of 200 meters, and this is Z equals to zero and Z equals to L. These are the coordinates, uh, and this transmission line is having characteristic impedance of 50 ohms and uh, epsilon are effective that means dielectric constant of the line is 2.25 source resistance is 150 ohms and uh, source uh, voltage is uh, 400 volts and R is the load connected. For this uh, transmission line the transient response is given and the transient response, response is given uh, from t equals to 0 to the time t here and this is that means from 0 to t and this is the time t. So uh, if we look into this problem now uh, what we find here is the as we have said length of the line is 200 meters source voltage is 400 volts source resistance is 150 ohms and transient response of the line is given. Now uh, we wish to find the velocity of propagation in the line. So how we can find here velocity of propagation on the line could be given by V equals to C divided by epsilon root R and where C is the velocity of light. Then uh, epsilon R effective is given for this uh, transmission line which is 2.25. So we substitute here 3 into 10 power 8 over 2.25 on the root. This gives me 2 into 10 power 8 meters per second. So this is the uh, velocity of propagation on this line. Now we would like to find the uh, time uh, for the signal to reach to the load. That means uh, from the source or to from the end of this that means from z equals 0 to the load how much time it takes for the transmission line to reach. So T would be L over V. L is 200 meters and velocity is 2 into 10 by 8. So this is 1 microsecond. So it takes 1 microsecond uh, for the signal to reach uh, from the source to the generator. A uh, source to the load. Now uh, we have uh, like uh, voltage uh, we consider V1 plus is the incident signal and V1 minus is the reflected signal okay then uh, uh, we can uh, determine uh, 
uh, from the bounce analysis that uh, uh, first the signal travels from the source the signal is traversing from the source to load and at this load end that means there will be some reflection from the load end that we can say this is gamma L the load reflection coefficient okay so uh, we would try to determine that uh, load reflection coefficient so we consider V1 uh, uh, plus is the incident signal V1 minus is the reflected signal V1 minus that may reflected signal will be gamma L times V1 plus similarly we can determine V2 plus V2 plus is the incident signal which is reflected from the source so gamma S and this is V1 minus S so you can refer here again this is a source so if we see at this end this will be gamma S this means reflection from the source that is gamma S okay so uh, we find here uh, this is uh, V2 plus would be gamma S V1 minus and we substitute for uh, uh, V1 minus this is gamma L V1 plus so the expression here for uh, the voltage becomes V1 plus into 1 plus gamma L plus gamma S gamma L and this is equal to 62.5 how 62.5 because it's given from the transient analysis you can notice here after uh, after the signal has come back after 2 milliseconds and more the voltage is 62.5 volts so this is one equation uh, which will be helpful uh, uh, we use the bounce diagram that means we have seen the signal traversing from the source to the load coming back reflected from the load coming to the source and again reflected from the source towards the load so you can determine this uh, by bounce analysis and uh, uh, we can see further uh, on this uh, if we try to find the source reflection coefficient we can find the source reflection coefficient this would be given as usual relation gamma s will be given zs minus z naught over zs plus z naught and we know that source is 150 ohms minus 50 150 plus 50 so source reflection coefficient is half now uh, we can determine v1 plus because we have to apply in that equation v1 plus would be given by z naught over z naught plus zs into vs see at the source end you will find this this is the value of v1 plus 50 over 50 plus 150 so it comes comes to be 100 volts now we'll use these relations to earlier equation that was uh, uh, v1 plus into 1 plus gamma l and half we have substituted the value for gamma s gamma l 62.5 or gamma l turns out to be minus 2.5 this is something unique you will find and that is why this relation although it looks a bit inconvenient relation uh, but you will find because of the gamma l negative it will make the voltage keep the voltage will keep on reducing so uh, again we will uh, find the reflection coefficient for the load gamma l related to rl minus r naught over rl plus r naught and uh, we have to rewrite this equation uh, because we have to determine the value for rl it's not very convenient here to determine value of rl so we rewrite this equation in this form this is rl over r naught 1 plus gamma l over 1 minus gamma l this 1 minus 0.25 over 1 minus minus 2.25 so this comes to 0.6 so the value of rl over r naught is 0.6 so rl will be r naught into 0.6 so we can determine uh, the value of RL so this comes out to be 30 ohms so this is the answer to this problem this was not uh, multiple choice questions a problem uh, uh, of uh, where you have to determine the answer for this so this is the 
value for the resistive load which were connected at the load end. Okay, thank you.